Good morning, my friends. So we are continuing our work today on this perfect vacation. I hope you kind of got started and did a couple of those things. Please don't get overwhelmed. We have we have a week to work on this. A little bit every day is going to get you through this, okay? Hopefully this should be fun. I want you to find some really cool things and some fun places to go. Remember, you can kind of fly all over the place and go to different places, but that means you're going to have to continue to find out how you get there and find prices for that stuff. So let's just start with um, the basics today. And I'm going to show you a couple of things that we want to start with. And so remember that the first question you're going to ask is, where are you going? Now, we did that before, and we're going to get to that. Remember, we're not going to go to slides. We're going to go to drive, and we're going to go to drive to our P7 folder. Okay. Oh, where's my P7 elective folder? Oh, that's just silly. Can you guys see it? Somebody yell out for me. Mr. Hollig said it's right there. Because I can't see it. I'm so, oh, it's right there. All right. See, so you guys probably saw it the whole time. All right. P7 elective. And remember, we started our perfect vacation. Now, I used that background, but remember, you don't need to have a background on your main page. I just think it looks very nice. And we created a works cited page. Now, we didn't call it a works cited page, but today we're going to move that down just a little bit. And we are going to add another text box up here at the top. So we're going to go to plus text. And it gives us this random one. And we're just going to type works cited okay and then we're going to put that in the center and we don't really need to do a whole lot making it big or anything we just move it up to the top and just snap it all the way to the top in the center so you saw how we did that we got the line snap all right so we're centered and we have our other big text box right here that we're going to keep adding stuff to today. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here to our first slide and we're going to add another slide. Okay, how do we do that? Anyone, anyone, anyone? How do we add a slide? Nope, nope, nope. Do we add a slide here? Well, mine is being kind of wonky. That's not what I want. There we go. All right, right down here at the bottom. So we're going to add a slide, and we are going to add a blank slide. Now, you'll notice it put it in between the two slides because I clicked here, and then I added a new slide. And so we're going to keep this works cited slide as our very last slide. Now, this first slide is, how am I going to get there? Okay, that's a lovely question. Now, I told you you could take a sh take a private yacht, you could take an airplane, anything you want. Now I'm going to go basic. And so I'm going to go to Chrome and I did a Google search and I am looking for the best first class flights to Bora Bora. And that's all the search I did right there. And it took me to this website. And so I went through and I looked and I said, oh, United Airlines. Oh, look at that. So United Airlines first class. Now that says Orlando to Bora Bora, but I'm going to do a search and I'm going to find that for LAX to Bora Bora. So my first thing is if I'm going to want to use this picture, I'm going to click on it and do what? There we go. Now that gives me that picture and I'm just going to hold down and I'm going to save the image. Now, remember, I just saved that image. And so I want to click on that. I want to... Come on. No. Copy. And then I'm going to come back here to my work cited. Come on. There we go. And return. And I'm going to paste. Come on, paste it. There we go. Paste that. Now remember, how do I turn it into that? Well, I hit the space bar. And that turns into that. And I want to name that. So that's my 
picture of first class seat. I'm going to hit return again, give myself a little space. And then I can come back over here and I'm going to add a picture from my photos because I just downloaded that. And oh, look, it saved it right there. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to stretch that from the quarters only. Snap. Now, you'll notice that this didn't completely fill the slide, and that's okay. I just want to make sure that it is that XX center. Let go on the right point. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that that is centered. And then what do I add here down? I'm going to say I will fly. Turn on my speaker notes. Say I will fly first class to Bora. And you know what? I'm, I know it's Bora Bora, so I'm just going to leave my speaker notes Bora Bora on United Airlines. It will cost... Oh, I need to find my cost. So how do we find our cost? Well, that's simple. We come back here, not to drive, sorry. We come back here to Chrome and we're going to do a flight search right up here at the top. And I just went to United Airlines. I picked some random dates and I went all the way out to the end of May because right now we've got some restrictions. And so I looked over here and I said, oh, what do I want? I want to find absolute business, like best first class here, that business class. And so that price is going to be $5,272. All right. And then. Oh, stop. Select all. It doesn't want to play very well today. Stop. No, not that. See, it doesn't do this. Oh, no, I have to re-add my stuff. That's okay. We're going to take that again, and we're just going to do another search. We went out to end of May and flew back. Two weeks later, we searched for our flights. Oh, I need to find... LAX, AX. There we are. Search for flights. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now, once again, I'm not terribly concerned about all of this. So five. 272 before I lose that again, and it will cost $5,272. Now, as I'm doing this, some of you are going to spend millions of dollars. So what I want you to do in your speaker notes, instead of trying to stumble through those really big numbers, you're going to spell this out. So we say five thousand two hundred and well two hundred seventy two all right now could we write it another way could we go five thousand two hundred 72. Yes. Whichever way makes more sense. But I want you to get in the habit right now of writing things out, especially really big numbers. Now, 5,272 is not hard. But if you are standing in front of a room and you're trying to say 5,372,274, that might be a different story. So please write out those prices. Okay. Now, I got information from this website, and so if I can actually make this work, hold down, hold down, there we go. We are going to copy that whole link. 
Now, it's not super important that I get the exact link, but it is important that I know that it's coming from United Airlines. Okay. Stop. Paste. And space. There we go. And this is my price for my ticket. Okay, we're going to fix these and clean these up later, but please keep them in one text box. Now, if I really wanted more pictures of my seat, I could continue to do that. As a matter of fact, I came back here and decided, well, that was really cool, but I wanted to see what that seat looked like laying down. That's a better picture of the seat. And so I'm going to take that and I'm going to save the image. And then down here at the bottom, you see this little visit site. If I hold that down, it copies my URL. I don't even have to go to the website because I'm in a Google image search right now and I just go to the website. I'm going to copy that link. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to add another slide. You don't only have to have one slide for everything that you do here, guys. You can do different slides. Why does this not want to add? Well, this is silly. I think the next time I get this thing up, I'm just going to add a whole bunch of blank slides because this is being silly. Um, maybe if I turn off speaker notes for a second. Oh, it's being dumb. All right. Now, this brings me to a really important point here, my friends. If you guys have problems with stuff like this, this is what I want you to plan on doing. Okay? I want you to close out of it quickly. Open it back up. And look, it showed right back up. Be problem solvers. That's going to be your best bet. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make a blank slide and then I'm just going to I'm going to copy it right up here copy and then watch I'm just going to go paste 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 and look what it did it left my work cited down here at the bottom and gave me a whole bunch of blank slides to work with so that thing for me just keeps disappearing we're just going to work around it okay so I wanted to add, remember when I came here, to add that second picture. So I'm going to pick my slide. I'm going to add my second picture, image. And I'm going to go to photos. And I'm going to pick that other picture that I was using. Again, same thing. Snap it to the top corner. Make it big size. And then pull it over the center. You can make the background nice and blue if you want to. We can muck around with all of that kind of stuff. But you could even go change your theme right now and use a nice, pretty blue background if you wanted to. And it should make all of your backgrounds the same. Um, or I can just change my background. So uh, click on that slide. Over here, change background. And my background color. Let's make it a pretty like ocean blue. There we go. And ta-da! All right. And apply to theme. Changes all of them to that nice pretty blue. So everyone, anything that you have like a little bit of color showing on the side, it'll just be that nice same color. Don't have to do it, but it's a nice little step. So there, you know what? I want one more picture because that's an okay picture and that's an okay picture. I want one of the bed laying down. And so I'm going to come back here and I'm going to find maybe another one. Let's see if I can find a bed laying down. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, there it is. And then she's, I don't want to see her. All right. There it is. 
There's that bed completely laying down. I don't like the belt buckle, but I'm going to use it anyway. And I'm going to save the image. And then what do I do? I go hold down, copy URL. Now, I only have to do that if I'm going to use this picture. But if I do use that picture, I want to come back to my Google Slides and I want to add it here. Does that make sense? Okay, now I'm not going to use this picture here. But if I do, I might have three different pictures with from three different websites just for my way to get there. All right. But we're not going to do that. I'm not going to add another picture. My next place is um, I want to kind of include you guys have that slide of who's going with you. I don't think I need to help you with that one too much. But let's do where I'm, uh, where will I be staying when I get there? And so I could buy a house. I could stay on my big yacht that I'm doing. Now, remember, um, if you're doing a yacht, I want to see lots of cool pictures, like all the cool inside stuff and everything else. Uh, but I decided that I was going to go stay at the Bora Bora Intercontinental. That's the one. And I just looked it up. I said hotels in Bora Bora. Okay. And so that gave me this. And I was kind of looking at it. And I thought, oh, this is super cool. I want to stay here. And so I went through and I saved some of the pictures that I wanted. And I did that earlier. Now, this one, if I hold down, it doesn't let me save it because it's a slideshow. But you know what I can do? I can take screenshots. Now, look at this. This is super cool. That is actually a coffee table that looks down into the ocean through the glass. And I thought, man, I need that picture. And so as I went through, I found the ones I wanted and I already saved them to my camera roll. The cool thing is all of these are all from the same website. So I can just click up here. Maybe. Copy that. And then come back here to what? My work cited. And I'm going to embed all of those cool pictures of my hotel. Now, the nice thing is I'm also going to get the price for my hotel from this same website. See, look how gnarly and long that is. Don't worry about it. We're going to fix that later. So I'm going to say pictures and price for my hotel. Got it? All of those came from that website. We're going to fix these big gnarly links to tomorrow. Don't worry about it. So if you know how to do that, we can do it later, but uh, we're going to clean those up tomorrow. All right. And then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to start putting pictures of my hotel that I already downloaded. And so I'm going to click on that one. And I just did screenshots, image from photos, and here they are. So here is my hotel. This is where I'll be staying. Now you'll notice that it got the whole screen. Let's not use the whole screen. Let's crop that with the little bars. And we're just going to focus on just the picture. Whoops. We're going to crop that in a little bit. Make it nice and purdy. There we go. And we tap off. Now we can resize it. Snap, snap, all the way down. Now let's see, this one will go all the way to the edges, but it won't go top to bottom. So I'm just going to drag it down to center again, like that. And then I can add my other pictures. I think I have cool pictures of a bathroom. I have cool pictures of that floor. Uh, Now, please remember that you can, there was that cool picture of the floor. You don't have to do all of this. Now, I'm kind of rambling, but you guys can fast forward through this if you feel like, I got this, Mr. H. I don't need this. But if you do need this, I wanted to make it available and do it multiple times so you could see what I was talking about, okay? So if you don't need it, fast forward, go get your stuff done. But if you do, go ahead and stay. Now, I do want to show you one more thing that you might want to have fast forwarded to. Each of these, we are going to remember add speaker notes to. Now, this may be simply uh, a uh, another. Hold on, uh, no, no, no. Turn on my speaker notes. There we go. 
So I will be staying at, what was the name of my hotel? I think it was the Bora Bora Continental. So, yep, the Intercontinental Hotel. Okay, so Intercontinental Hotel. Now I have my Bluetooth keyboard attached, so it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, I will... because uh, easier for me. Enter hotel. It will cost. Oh, we need a cost. The cool thing is you check in availability. Now, again, the dates don't matter, but we're just going to look at dates like in a month or two. So that first part of June for the two weeks, and we're going to search. Searching, searching, searching. Oh, that's the suite. I want the suite. All right. Oh, I want the most expensive one. That's the one right there. That's the one I want. So that's going to be $120,000. One hundred twenty thousand six hundred fourteen. Remember, one hundred twenty thousand. 614 dollars wrote it out made it easier and i can leave that there or i can just delete that now that i've got that written out and i'm just going to delete that because remember this is just for me all right so my next one what do i put in my speaker notes here this is my cool living room Notice the glass coffee table looks down into the ocean. That's all I need to do. And then I want to add a picture in my bathroom. Because the bathroom's pretty cool. Do I have the, there's the bathroom right there. Ooh, fanciness. Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Snap. Go. Okay. And then here he is. He. Here is. So, you see how this works? This is what you want to do right here. More pictures, better. Nice, big, full-size images. And as many interesting pictures as you can do. All right, my friends. So today, let's today plan on just doing the slides of how you're going to get there and where you're gonna stay. If you can finish the how you're gonna get there and where you're going to stay today, you are in good shape. Now remember, you could do a big yacht, you could buy a house, and you can just look up different places, houses for sale in Hawaii, houses for sale in Tahiti, houses for sale in Montana. Go ahead, uh, luxury hotels in Paris, just do some really kind of fun stuff along those lines. That's your whole assignment for the day. I know this was a long video, um, but go ahead and fast forward if you need to or stop. But that's where we're going to stop for today. We'll pick up some more tomorrow. All right, my friends, have a great day.